Hello friends, today we'll learn about conductors and insulators. Electricity is the movement of electrons, called electric current in a circuit. Some materials are good at passing an electric current through them, and some others block the current. These materials are known as conductors and insulators. Let's learn about the conductors first. Conductors are the materials which provide the easiest path to the electric current. Current smoothly travels through the conductors. Conductors provide a good path to an electric current because they suppress free to move electrons in their atoms. You're playing a game on the desktop. Look here. So many electric wires are connected to the computer. These wires are made of conductors which allow electricity to flow through it. Metals are good conductors as they contain loose electrons. The most conductive metal is silver. It is a precious and costly metal, so copper is used, which is cheaper and a good conductor. Now let's see the benefits of using a good conductor. Good conductors have very low resistance, so electric current can move easily. If a high resistance conductor is selected, then it will become piping hot when electric current will flow through it. This will waste so much electricity in heating the conductor that would have powered some appliances. Meaning, using conductors with very low resistance saves electricity. The most useful and commonly used conductors for electric wires are following. Silver. It's the best of the conductors, but very expensive, and it oxidizes easily. Printed circuit boards and TV screens are a few things where it is used. Copper. Home wiring is usually made of copper because it has a good amount of free electrons which can conduct electricity. Gold. It has low resistance, but gold is very expensive. It's used in cell phone circuits and computer chips. Aluminum. This conductor is usually used in long electric transmission lines. Aluminum is lightweight, but about 40% less conductive than copper. Now, let's learn about the insulators. An electrical insulator, or bad conductor, is a material in which electric current does not flow freely through an electric circuit. Materials like glass and rubber have very good insulation property, while others like water and wet wood have poor insulation property. Insulators are mostly used to insulate the conductors, so if anybody unconsciously touches them, they won't get electrocuted. See this refrigerator? You need good insulators to insulate the electric wires and heat shield the appliances. Insulation performs a vital role in limiting heat gains in the system, ensuring that the compressor load does not become excessive. Porcelain, rubber, plastic, paper, wood, and glass, etc. are some examples of good insulators. Now, you know a lot about conductors and insulators. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.